Hello? Uh, bingo, I want a dollar! Oh, oh, it's you, my boy toy. Sorry to wake you. Hey, I'm glad to be woken. At my age, waking up is called a big surprise. And how old are you, may I ask? Remember when air was invented? No. I do. That's old. Yeah, I told you. I see. No, I see it. I see. It. It. Right, fine. And did you land? No, we knew it wasn't Greenland, so we turned around and sailed back across the water. And I see the litigants are about to enter the courtroom. Let's watch. And now, Big Fat Baby's impression of a turtle! Terry Nation takes on another unsuspecting saloon in a display of destruction you can't see anywhere else as the 180-pound bar-bashing, liquor-loathing, anti-alcohol agitator. You saw the havoc she wreaked on her previous match against Dobson Saloon and the Lewis Bar in Hatchetation. When we got to Greenland, we told Leif Erikson the news about North America. How about Iraqi strongman Saddam Hussein? Hit a word? Diggleish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, nature calls. Huh? And when you get to be my age, you answer, but quick, you know what I'm saying? Well, thank you. Thank you for your insights. Uh, do you have any final words of wisdom that you'd like to leave us with? Dude, can we have our ball back? You Kuwaiti kids, stay out of my yard! And hurry up with that death ray, will ya? I've got a world to conquer. Yes, yes sir! sir! Back to the drawing board. By the spring of 1863, the Confederate Army began an invasion into the north. What's that supposed to mean? Some kind of new math? But I don't get it! Sorry, do you have the old man? The South wouldn't give us their secret recipe for mint juleps. Listen, homie. I told my girlfriend Naomi Campbell I'd print up her supermodel cafe menus. Boy, was he a stress case. Like one time, Zing, he drank a double mocha espresso just to relax. At ease, everybody. I brought a really rousing all-American cartoon to entertain the troops today. Your attention! The next train north will be leaving the station in three minutes! The North and South clashed in the battle. Louisiana Territory! 828,000 square miles of North America, stretching from the Mississippi River to the Rocky Mountains. Right. These trusts worried people. Don't worry, Pop. While you've been in the hospital, I kept working on the monument. See? Mr. President, dude. Ow! Thanks for coming and stuff. You've saved hundreds of canal workers from deadly diseases. Now can you help us with this poison ivy? Hey, like I didn't know, girls. You can look forward to a civil war between the states. I loves the Industrial Revolution. It's true, because communication was so slow at the time. The biggest battle ever fought on the North American continent. The fighting went on for three long days. Finally, General Meade led the Union forces to victory on July 3rd, 1863. But the price was high for both sides. In this one battle, the North and South had 50,000 casualties. And now, Australia presents a dramatic reenactment of the Siege of Vicksburg. If you need a battle cry, call it loud. Of only battle cries, I'm supreme! If you want to beat the South, hear a ship of mouth. Call it loud, call it loud, call it loud. Call it loud. See you again soon on the dramatic reenactment of the Siege of Vicksburg on a show called Hysteria. The place, North Texas, year 1971. The event, the man with a cowboy hat rides his horse to buy the blue bucket at Walmart Supercenter. During the show called Hysteria, Mal Kinnitton is about to ride his own horse to buy the blue bucket. Move it! Out of the way! Get away! It's coming through! How do Roman citizens? What do you ask for? That's your great mall! Hey, we can get him to the roof through here! This is essential tools for leaders. Look for actions you can take today.